in Plan Belize, the People's United Party made several commitments to the people of Belize with regard to decolonization. In Plan Belize, we had the quote, the story of our people is one of resistance and resilience, forging a cultural and decolonization project in our sovereign and independent nation state of Belize. Madam Speaker, for to one years after our independence, it is high time that we as a nation own our independence and we need to continue this decolonization project. So I'm very proud to stand here today to introduce this bill. It has had a long gestation period, Madam Speaker. The Prime Minister spoke about this process back in his September 21st Independence Day Address in 2021. In the budget presentation, we spoke about the process of developing and creating a unit and making sure that we have this commission in place. So I am happy that we are now at the stage where we can introduce this bill to the House. And it was felt, Madam Speaker, in originally that we should have gone through the three readings today. But after further reflection, the Cabinet, myself, those involved with the process felt that this is, so, this is of such national importance that it's important that we just do the first reading and allow the people of Belize to have an opportunity to digest and make comments on this particular piece of legislation.